So myoclonic epilepsy or myoclonic seizures look like jerks. Usually there's like a quick, fast twitch that is not under the person's control. Usually this is diagnosed early in life. It's diagnosed um, in childhood generally. That's when we see it happen. Also, usually the seizures happen either really late at night or super early in the morning. The jerks can make you drop things, um, things like when you're brushing your teeth, you might drop your toothbrush. If you're brushing your hair, you might drop that. Um, if you're drinking coffee, you might drop that. It's a very common way of present presentation. Um, usually I see it in adolescents um, and young teens. You can also see it in your 20s, although the latest I've diagnosed it was in someone who was in their 50s. I also saw one gentleman in his 60s who had it, so it can be variable, but usually earlier on in life. Diagnosis is with an EEG to confirm, um, and the treatment is with seizure medications. Usually patients with myoclonic epilepsy do fairly well as long as they're on the right medications. Um, this type of epilepsy syndrome doesn't come with any cognitive deficits that we know of, but a lot of people with myoclonic epilepsy also have ADD and ADHD, but we're not quite sure why.